basically all of last year. We're open now, as you can see, Nicole just showed up. So. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, slowly but surely people are starting to come back. And so if you can, you go to fivepointyoga.com, which is the studio, and then you can sign up for your class that way, send us a donation, and that's great. We also have an online membership now, so you can do that as well, and then you don't have to worry about that. But either way, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, let's go ahead and begin. So we're gonna start with our feet about shoulder distance. Bring the palms together, close your eyes. Let me Good, make sure that's all good. Start breathing in and out of the nose. Good, smooth, even breaths. Let the shoulders drop down. Let the top of the head float up. Take a moment, set your intention. Good, drop the head to your left. Easy neck stretch. Switch sides. Good. Drop the arms, a few circles of the head, one direction. I don't know if any of you out there are basketball fans, but I went to UCLA. So I'm currently nursing a huge weekend of depression. <laughs> Switch sides. Uh, if you didn't know, who was the final four over the weekend. UCLA played Gonzaga. Shoulder rolls, forward and back, forward and back. UCLA was the 11th seed. I think they were the, it was like the second time in 50 or 60 years that an 11 seed beat a number one seed to get to the final four, right? Um, arms up from there. So I didn't think that UCLA had any chance against Gonzaga. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, stretch the shoulders, but they just had an amazing first half and just stayed with them the whole, the whole game. It was really close the whole time. I think it was a one point game at the half. And then it just, UCLA was up by seven and then they were tied and then Gonzaga would go up by five and then they kind of come back again. It was just such a, it was really, really a fantastic game. And then it went into overtime, <laughs> college basketball in overtime. And then Gonzaga was up by seven points. Go ahead and fold over to one point. So I thought, ah, uh, that's it. You know, Gonzaga is just too good. <clears throat> and then UCLA came back. And guy shoots the ball, misses, runs, catches his own rebound, scores with two, like two and a half seconds left or two, something like that, three seconds left. It's a tie the game to go into what you would think is a second overtime. And then <laughs> Gonzaga guy chucks the ball from half court and scores a three pointer and the game's over. Oh, it's like the worst way you could possibly lose and the best way you could possibly win switch sides. So good for Gonzaga. They play tonight for the championship. But all of us Bruins are hurting right now, licking our wounds. <laughs> back to the center. Go ahead and lean back, take a big inhale, and then fold down forward as you exhale. Hang forward and breathe. Good, smooth, even breaths in and out of your nose. So today our focus, when we stream with um, the uh, Malibu Marathon folks, which looks like Malibu Marathon is having their event this year, November 14th. 5k and a half marathon so come out to malibu for that um, but we kind of do a little yoga for athletes sort of focus on mondays and today hips hamstrings and uh, quads so kind of upper part of the leg here a little bit so while you're hanging down here if your legs are tight could be those hamstrings so just keep the legs slightly bent breathe whatever you decide A little bit side to side here. Good. 
Good. So each time you go to one side of the leg, you're getting a deeper hamstring stretch, as long as the lower back is okay. Good. <clears throat> back to the center, clasp the hands back behind you, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders. One more breath, give it a nice big stretch. And then release the arms. Let's go ahead and roll up, or uh, squat down, sorry, squat down. So squatting down into a regular squat here. Lifting up. Notice your hips breathing. Interlace all the fingers but the index fingers. Reach the arms up, stretch. Good, one more inhale, lift up, and then fold down, clasp the hands back, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders again, a few breaths. Good, and then release that, come on down again, squatting down. Interlace the fingers, reach the arms up, breathe. I'm gonna do two more, this is one. So really be aware of the hips. Squat is such a good pose for the ankles, for the calves, for the knees, for the quads, for the hips. Take one more inhale and then fold down again. Clasp the hands back, interlace the fingers, stretch the shoulders. Good, and then one more time, come on back, interlace the fingers and reach the arms up. Good, one more nice big, big inhale, and then fold again, clasp the hands back, interlace. Good. Release the arms, slowly roll your way back up. Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms up, and then fold all the way down forward as you exhale. Extend that spine as you inhale, look forward and step back to plank as you exhale, top of a push-up. Hold the top of a push-up there for a moment. Okay, just let me check my battery. Good, breathing. <clears throat> From here, we're gonna do five times to chaturanga, so lower halfway down chaturanga. I'm still modifying from the shoulder. Push up, lower halfway, push up, lower halfway, push up. Two more. One more. Good, all the way to the mat. All the way down to the mat, easy back bend. Point the toes back, gentle cobra. Lift the upper body up. Feel that spine. Well, squats, believe it or not, are more of a forward bend. This is more of a back bend. Sh shoulders pull down the spine. Extend forward and up, breathe. Oh, one more inhale. And then child's pose, just for a moment, child's pose. And if you think about child's pose and you think about your legs right now and your hips right now, Essentially, it's a squat, right? Just your feet would be in a different position. Downward facing dog <clears throat> from there. But just good to understand the body a little bit more. Bend the left leg, push the right heel down. And here, I know normally we just kind of focus on whatever it feels like in the back of the knee, but if you can, lift that tailbone up. <clears throat> Breathe. Good, and then switch sides, same thing. If 
So you've been dropping the heel down, lifting the tailbone up, so you get a little bit of what's called opposing action in your uh, legs there. Good. Straightening both legs from there. Coming up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend the spine as you inhale, look forward, fold as you exhale. Stretch all the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. Arms up, inhale, we'll do three rounds from here. Fold down forward as you exhale. Extend that spine as you inhale. Step back as you exhale. You could jump back if you wanted. Lower all the way to the mat. It's the easiest way to do it. Cobra pose and then downward facing dog. Breathe. Good. Up on the toes, walk or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. Arms up again, inhale. <clears throat> Folding down forward, exhale. Extend the spine, inhale, step or hop back, exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Good. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Good, one more breath. And then up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Halfway up as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale, one more time there, arms up. Inhale, folding down, exhale. <clears throat> Extend the spine, inhale, step back or jump back, exhale, good, vinyasa, lower down, you could always lower halfway, all the way, and then downward facing dog, this time right away, right leg up behind you, lift it up, you could open the hip, bend the knee, get a little side stretch, breathe. Good. And then square the hips, knee to the nose, shoulders over the wrists, abdomen strong, a little core strength. Lift that back and up. Forward to the left side, a little twist and squeeze. Hold, good, and lift it back and up. And forward to your right, squeeze, and lift it. And then all the way forward. If you had blocks and you needed them, you can use them here, but otherwise we're gonna do this about 15, 17 times, a little bit more of a hamstring focus right here. So straighten the front leg, flex the foot, bend the knee, drop the hips. So we're gonna do five here. Straighten the leg and bend the knee. And hamstring stretch and hip flexor. Feel it out for your body. Two more, inhale, exhale, and one more. Good, now external rotation. So outside of the heel, and then bend the knee. Outside of the heel, bend the knee. Outside of the heel, bend the knee. Outside of the heel, bend the knee. One more. Good, now inside of the heel. So internal rotation, and then bend the knee. So you're just stretching a little deeper internal rotation bend the knee internal rotation bend the knee two more good good and just one or two more down the middle just noticing more space <clears throat> and before we come up we're going to go down so about 30 seconds drop the back knee down if you need to just come up and sink forward into a little hip stretch. If you can, right hand grabs that left foot. If you can grab that left foot and make a nice deep lunge for the quadricep, do that. May or may not work. 
<laughs> but lengthen the upper body as you sort of twist and turn and breathe. One more breath. And then warrior one, so release that foot, turn the back foot, stabilize, and just one inhale, lift up. And hands down to the floor, exhale. Take the leg back, vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Good, and right side when you're ready, take the right leg up behind you, hold it and breathe. Yeah, you could open the hip, bend the knee. A couple more breaths. Good, then square the hips. Knee to the nose, shoulders over the wrists, abdomen strong. Lift it, back and up. And then forward, knee to your right side. Squeeze. Back and up. Forward up to the left side. Back and up, all the way forward. Stay here, straighten the front leg, flex the foot, bend the knee, sink the hips. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, a few more. Good, one more, inhale, and exhale. Good, now external rotation. So externally rotate the leg, and feel it on the outside of the hamstrings as you do that. External rotation, and bend the knee. External rotation, bend the knee. Two more. Good. Now, internal rotation, so internally rotate that leg, bend the knee, internal rotation, bend the knee, internal rotation, bend the knee, a couple more, there. Good, and then down the middle, just to feel a bit of that space. And then let's drop the back knee down. And again, the easiest thing to do, just come up, take a nice lunge. So there's a little bit front side hip flexor, little upper quad, but if you can, that left hand grabs the back foot. And then reach forward, sink deeper, really get into that quadricep. Oh, breathe. breath. Good. Warrior one. So come on up. Turn the back foot flat. Warrior one. Inhale. And again, just one inhale. Hands down to the floor. Leg back. Vinyasa lower. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Good. Pause and breathe. Fingers spread. Palms flat. Breath smooth. Good, one more breath. And then up on the toes again, walk softly or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, regular chair, we'll just hold it. 30 seconds, adding a little bit of a warm up here. Shoulders, if you can, get the arms up by the ears. Keep them straight if possible. Excuse me, up on the ears. One more inhale, sink a little bit lower. And then stand up, hands together at the heart, exhale. Since we're gonna dive deeper into the hips, let's do a little bit more of a vigorous warm up. So a single round 
double round, triple round through sun salutation B. So one time through each leg here, chair pose. Inhale. So if you haven't done this before, just follow along. Fold as you exhale. Halfway up. Inhale, look forward, step back or jump back as you exhale. Vinyasa or not. Anytime you want to, you can skip the vinyasa. From down dog, when you get there, right leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. Deep bend in that front leg. Inhale. Hands down, abdomen strong. Take the leg back, lower. Upward facing dog, down dog. Working on linking your breath. Left leg up, bring it forward. Warrior one, inhale. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Back to down dog, hold it there. So normally, well not normally, but when we do two, we go right to the right side again. But here we take a little break in down dog and feel it. Extend the shoulders, lift the tailbone, breathe deep, let go of any tension, stress. In the jaw and the face. Good, again, up on the toes. Walker, hop forward. Extend that spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Stand, hands to the heart, exhale. Big full breath. Now we go two times through each leg. Back to chair, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Step back, exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Downward facing dog. Right side, first time. Take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, inhale. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Shoulders getting better, right side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. My tendency always is when my injuries start to get a little better. Left side, take it up, bring it forward to go, oh. It's going to heal. I'll just use it again. <laughs> we'll reach up. Hands down. Leg back. Vinyasa. But in my, in my ancient wisdom, <laughs> I try now these days to really allow it to give it a full, at least like 90 plus percent healing before I start at it again. Find your breath. Good, smooth, even breaths. Lifting that tailbone, breathing deeply. Good. Up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Lengthen that spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there. Inhale. Stand, hands to the heart. Exhale. Big full breath. So that's the idea, three times through each side. It's become more difficult one. Skip the vinyasa if you need it, if you need to. Chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale, step or hop back, exhale. Vinyasa, lower. Right side, first round, take it up. Bring it forward, warrior one, Reach, hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Second round, right leg, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one. Remember, anytime you feel like you need to, you can skip that vinyasa. And by the way, you can always make it harder. Go back to chaturanga again. 
Left side, second round, take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior, one reach. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Right side, take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior one. Hands down. Last time through, stay with it. Vinyasa. Left side, take it up. Bring it forward. Inhale deeply. Hands down. Leg back. Vinyasa, good. All righty. And then from here, from downward facing dog, just pause, couple breaths, it's three times through. Breathe. Good. Now drop to the knees, we're gonna keep the toes tucked. So that, those of you looking at the camera, it looks like that, right? Sitting down that way. And breathing. So this is a kind of sit back on the heels like that. So it can be really intense on the feet. If it's too much, you can always just sit up like this. This is still a stretch for the foot, but not as intense. From here, interlace the fingers, turn the palms forward, reach the arms up. Just a little break from the vinyasas and a little stretch. So lifting up, leaning back, breathing deeply. Good for your feet, if you're an athlete, runner, hiker, anything that you do using your feet, walking. <laughs> Good, so if this is really intense on the feet, again, you can always come up here, that's fine. But if you can, last few breaths, you can lift up a little taller, lean back, that's gonna go a bit deeper into the feet, so breathe there. One more inhale, and then forward, you're gonna pick up the toes, wiggle the toes for a second. Just let some blood move back in there. And then we're gonna sit back down. So you're gonna point the toes back, sit on your heels. If there's a big stretch already for you, then stay here, but if you can handle a bit more, lean back, lift the knees. Breathe. Good. Push the heart up and then drop the head back and breathe. Good. One more nice big, big inhale. And then we're going to come forward on the exhale onto the hands and knees. Again, roll the ankles. Just roll the ankles here. A few times one direction. A few times the other direction. Good. And then downward facing dog. Take a moment, bend the left leg, push the right heel down. This time, I want you to feel any difference. Maybe there's a difference from earlier. And then I want you to just give a little micro bend to the knee. So I want you to feel this maybe more in the calf, more in the Achilles, breathing deeply. And then switch it, it's the same thing here, bending that um, knee slightly, breathe. Good. And then from here, uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and take the right leg up. Bring it forward. Turn the back foot flat, warrior one, and then warrior two. So just one standing sequence and then we'll go deeper in the hips. This will be kind of a little bit of a hip focus sequence here. So pause here, breathe, sink down. Stretch the shoulders relaxed, gazing forward, breathing deeply. Then back arm wraps around. Forearm to the thigh, 
and just for the hips here, make a few circles. So you kind of tuck the tailbone and then straighten the front leg, stick your butt back, bend the knee. So think about the hip socket and that's, as that's where you want to make the circle of, and just keep breathing, keep moving that around, feel any tightness, go the opposite direction, loosen that up a little bit, range of motion. Good. Now, right hand down, lean back, twist up, so shoulder stretching. At any point, you can always make it a little easier and just keep the forearm on the thigh. That would be fine. From here, just a couple breaths. Good. Now you're going to release that arm. You can take the arm over the ear. Breathe. Sink down into that hip, so your front leg. Definitely have a strong back leg. Keep breathing, take one more inhale. And then come on back up, warrior two. Push the leg straight, drop the back arm down, right arm up and back, stretch. Oh, side stretch. Remember, it's all connected, we're all connected. So by stretching this whole side, maybe there's a little bit, maybe you're Pulling that so as up a little bit. Maybe not, but <laughs> one more inhale. And then forward into the full wrap or the half wrap. Half wrap you just did, right? Full wrap is when you take that right arm, reach under the leg and around the back. So again, a lot of hip stretching here, strengthen the quads, uh, stretching the shoulders but lengthen up and twist up and breathe deep. Good, one more nice big breath. And then you're going to release the arms, come up on the back toes, walk the right foot over to the right, outside elbow down, inside elbow down. Breathe. Strong back leg to start, if you can, keeping the back knee off the ground, driving the back leg back. Good. Drop the back knee down, come on up. Straighten the front leg. Straighten the front leg, lengthen the torso, breathe chin forward, right? <clears throat> Breathing. So here's your hamstring stretch. And then similar to what we did before, we're gonna kind of comb the hamstring. So what I want you to do is roll to the outside of the heel here, outside of the heel, just external rotation for the leg. Breathe, maybe lower down deeper, stretching the outer hamstrings. And all you have to do to make it a little more, more intense is take your toes, bring them back to your face. <laughs> recently watched the Christopher Walken googly eyes video you guys ever see that you gotta google Christopher Walken googly eyes <laughs> it's a Saturday Night Live thing oh my god it's hysterical so funny it's like the window the eyes are the windows of the face go ahead now roll <laughs> roll that in so internal rotation Breathe deep, lengthen that torso. Breath smooth. If you needed to kind of back up because the stretch is too intense, that's fine. Just take a little break. But keeping that tightness, tenderness, keeping that stretch is gonna help.
Good. All right, now you're just gonna bend that front leg, come on down. So back knee stays down, low lunge here. A few breaths. Good. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back. Just a quick warrior two, so come on back. Oh, not warrior two, warrior one. Turn the back foot flat, come up, just feel the leg. Inhale, and then both hands down from there. Exhale, take the leg back, vinyasa. Easy, extra moment or two in that upward facing dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Pause for a moment. Bend the left leg, push the right heel down. And then left side, right away, take it up, bring it forward. Turn the back foot, warrior one. And then warrior two, open up to the side, pause and breathe. Good, shoulders relaxed, breath smooth, just kind of set it up here first. And then as you're ready, back arm wraps around toward that front leg, forearm down. And we started with some circles, right? So stick the butt back, straighten the leg, tuck the tailbone, sink down a little bit. Just kind of that femur bone, the big bone, biggest bone in your body from the knee to the hip. You want the socket, the hip socket. You just want to move it around a little bit. And you'll find where it's tighter, where it's looser, But the idea is to just create a nice big range of motion, right? One of the things that happens to us as we continue to gain wisdom, as I like to say, <laughs> is balance goes, right? Our balance goes. So by creating a bit more space in the hips, you're gonna have a little bit more agility. Go ahead, so that if you do trip and fall, or you trip, you might be able to not fall Lengthen up, twist and turn up. Right hand can come to the floor. Breathe. Or your block, that's right. Lengthen up, twist up, breathe deeply. Good, just release that right arm. Take it over the ear, a few breaths. Good, one more. Nice, big, big inhale. And then come on back up, warrior two. Push the legs straight, back arm down, right arm up. I'm sorry, left arm up and back, breathing. Good, one more inhale. And then bend the front leg forward, left arm back, right arm, arm behind, lengthen up and twist and breathe. Remember, half wrap is also fine. We're going about 10 breaths here. It's about 30 plus seconds. Shorter breaths. Good, couple more. All right, hands down from there. 
Come up on the back toes, walk the left foot over, outside elbow down, inside elbow down. Deep hamstrings here, and a deep hip stretch. Breathe, doesn't matter if that inside elbow goes down, you can support this with your arms if you wanted, definitely breathe. And then drop the back knee down, come on up, straighten the front leg. So now we spend a little extra time in the hamstring here. Lengthen the upper body, first go forward. Remember flexing the foot, bringing the toes back to your head, to your face. <laughs> Breathe. Now external rotation, so just roll your leg out. So now you're on the outside of the heel, breathe. Good. And then slowly turn on the heel, inside of the heel. Keep breathing. Find that stretch. All right, and now back to the center. Let's go ahead and come down into that stretch uh, with the back knee down. So this might feel a little bit more uh, open at this point. Good, one more breath here, just maybe a couple more breaths. Good. And then we're gonna go up, just one kind of inhale to warrior one, so set up your stance. Big inhale, reach up, reactivate. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Good. Downward facing dog, take a moment. Bend the right leg, push the left heel down, big squeeze. Big stretch, I mean. Good. And then drop to the knees right away. What we're gonna do actually is take the right leg forward here. Right leg forward and then I want you to sit back. So it's for the quads. So sitting back like this here with your uh, left foot outside your hip if you can. So if that makes sense, uh, does it work? It won't work? No, okay. <laughs> so from here, if this is already a big stretch for your quads and your knees, then you just have to stay there. But if you can lean back, go ahead and lean back and let's do that. So notice as I lean back, my knee comes up right away. So then I know that I can push the knee down slightly because I engage my, my glute 
and actually push the knee down, push the hips up slightly, and that's gonna help get a deep quad stretch. So just breathe there. If you're so flexible, you can lie back all the way back and you don't feel in the quads, then just hang out there. <laughs> Feel that, Jackie? <laughs> Good, a few more breaths. I still think the best quads stretch is the one we did earlier. Excuse me. Liam was up. He's been sleeping so well. <clears throat> Nicole, you. Unless you were watching online, you missed my chronicles. The chronicles, come on up, of my kid's sleep. Literally, my 19-month-old has been good for the last few months, but for the year previous, it was just like an ongoing wake up at like midnight or 12.30 or 1 or 1.30. And, oh, so hard. <laughs> Same thing, other side, lean back. He's been doing so well, but it's a funny Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and today. I set up my bike, my bike helmet, my gear, and like literally every time. It was like one thing or the other. Oh God, exactly right. I got to set my alarm for 5.30 to get up. And then I was lovingly woken up by a little kid's scream. Like, ah, uh, it's just so hard to get rolling at 5.30 when you've been up from 2.30 to 3.30. A few breaths here, and again, just feel it for you. So funny enough, this one is not as tight as my left. But it's fine to play around a little bit, so we can lift the knee, get a little bit more of a shin stretch, but then push the knee down, engage the glute, more quad stretch. Definitely breathe. Few more breath. <sighs> oh well, he he's definitely good at napping. So he, I know he's you know it's different. Madison, my my wife was so good. You can come on up out of there. My wife was so good about keeping Madison on a schedule, and she was rough for the first six to nine months, and literally since then, for the last five plus years, four plus years, she's been a dream sleeper. He, you know, so we did this kind of same thing, keeping him on the schedule, the whole thing, but he just, it just was not a, for Madison, Bada Kanasana, everybody, Madison had, uh, z like, we did not know when she was teething. Had no idea, like, had the two, but she just, but for him, you can just tell he's like grinding it, like it, it affects him more. So I think we think it's a little bit of that. But like I said, and literally my wife is, is an incredible student of, <laughs> right? She like reads all the books and, you know, follows this person and takes that course and does this and does that. And I mean, he sleeps like a, like a champ, the, but, the, but he actually doesn't go to sleep on his own. Like we sort of, yeah. Yeah, so we, we now, like, kind of, you know, he rests on our shoulder, and then I'll put him down, he rolls over and falls asleep, right? So he's kind of already sleeping, but then he kind of goes, ah, and then falls asleep. <laughs> but um, you boys are different, right? That's what they say. I think he's fine. I just think that, uh, you know, he's, yeah, 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 yeah. I think he's just a little bit of a lighter sleeper. Yeah. But I also think somebody was telling me, they're like, oh, yeah, at four or five, it goes away. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this for two more years. Either. <laughs> but like I said, he's, he's over the last three months, I would say he slept through the night 90% of the time, 85 to 90%. I'll take that. 
for sure. Maybe not three months, but the last two months for sure. All right, you guys, that's good from there. So now let's come on up, bring the legs straight. Shake them out for a second. And butt out to the side. We're going to fold forward in our seated forward bend. Flex the feet. Um, yeah, but ritual-wise, we have our nighttime ritual, our reading books, our, you know. <laughs> yeah, we try that. Same time. You know, the time zone, the time change just push us back a little bit, but... Yeah. So you can hang forward here, relax and breathe, or if you're ready for it, roll up, roll back, take the legs up and over for plow. So you can do plow pose. Of course, if it doesn't work for your neck, then definitely skip it. You don't want to do this uh, if it hurts your neck. But if you're okay and you go back, then you want to go up, you can bring your legs up to shoulder stand and breathe. Good, legs wide from there, flex the feet. And then bend the knees, soles of the feet together. And then legs back up from there. And then down over the head slowly. And we'll come down, take our final twist. Pull the right knee in, give it a good squeeze in. Roll to the left side, twist. Good. And then switch it, same thing on the right. So you pull the left knee in and roll to the right and stretch. All right. And then back to the center. Shavasana. Final rest. We'll just take a few minutes here. Eyes closed. Uh, feet flop open. Arms down by the side. Nice big, big inhale. And exhale. Totally, totally relax.
guys, go ahead and bring the left hand to the heart center, right hand to the belly. Take a nice deep breath. And then bend the knees, roll to your right. Pause. And then make your way up to a seat, a comfortable seated position. Sitting up tall, palms up, eyes closed, a few breaths. And ultimately, moving through these poses is really geared toward allowing us to just have a healthier body, but also connected to a deeper sense of ourself and a clear mind. So when we get here, we kind of go, ah, yeah. I know this is how it's supposed to feel. This whole life thing. Calm, relaxed, peaceful, content, happy. Bring the palms together at the heart. Take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. Thank you very much for showing up. Thank you guys for showing up. And thank you guys for showing up. <laughs> Remember, if you're streaming, these classes are done on a donation basis. So go to fivepointyoga.com and figure out how to do that. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you.